We'll start by congratulating Russell Martin, although I'm not quite sure what for. So t- tell me about the last 24 hours for you. Um, it's been pretty hectic. Travelled up with the team yesterday, trained and travelled. Um, obviously knew um, my wife was due with our third child at some point uh, next week. Um, but she decided to have it early. Uh, so I got a call about 8 o'clock last night to say that she was going into full labour. Um, so we left it a little bit. Uh, and then I drove back at 11 o'clock last night from Liverpool. Um, got to the NNN this morning about half three, four. They were superb. The staff there, as always, the midwives were brilliant. And uh, she had the baby at 9.30 this morning. Um, little boy. Not named him yet. <laughs> we're in debate about that, so hopefully we'll decide tonight. Um, we only had nine months to decide. But, uh, yeah, amazing day. And then, fortunately... Um, directors have got a plane and Delia and Michael have allowed me onto their plane to fly up and uh, I got here late, missed the captain's meeting uh, with the referees and uh, yeah, fortunately got here in time for the game and obviously it's been it's turned out alright Incredible, what was that like last night when you had to go and see the manager and say, you'll, you'll never guess what's happened Yeah, we spoke about it before uh, the day before and I said, you know, it could happen um, but he was great about it, he said listen, go go back there, be with your family and if you can get back, brilliant, if not you just need to tell me if you're okay um, I rang him this morning and spoke to Ricky Martin and Gary Holt, um, and they said, you know, we want you back up here, we want you to play. How do you feel? I've not slept a wink. I tried to sleep on the plane, but it was a bit choppy. Um, so, yeah, to be honest, I'm pleased to get through the game. I was running on empty towards the end, but to get a goal as well was a, it's a very special special day for me and something to tell, tell my little boy when he's older. Was there any, ever any doubt in your mind that you, you were going to play in this game? Because it's not easy after no, no sleep. No, it was actually... You know, there's more. There, there are more important things in football, and I wanted to be there for the birth of my for my son. Um, but it would have hurt to miss the game, and it was sort of you're caught in two minds for a little bit. But obviously, you know, family family overcomes everything, and uh, fortunately, I've been able to do both. So I'm a very lucky man, uh, very privileged, and then to score here. My uncle's a Liverpool fan; he come here, um, so I was staring at him when they celebrated. He was going mental, all the Norwich fans. So that shows how much it means to everyone. And uh, yeah, it couldn't have gone any better for me. Now, I'm hoping to get some sleep tonight. What was it like to score at Anfield then? Uh, yeah, pretty special. You know, we worked so hard last year to come back to these places. Um, and I think the way we're playing now, I think we're proud of the way we're playing, the performances we're putting in, uh, what the manager gives us, the platform, he, the belief he gives us as a team, um, the togetherness and resilience and character that we've got now. I think we're a real hard team to play against and we've shown that again today. The fact we've come to Anfield and you know gone toe-to-toe with the team, who for me is still in the top five in the country, um, or although they're going for a sticky patch, um, shows you know what, what our management team are all about and what the lads are all about and the belief we've got in each other.